Have you ever wondered where most tourists go in Southeast Asia? Hello, Familia. Welcome back to LLVT. This is Christina here, and welcome to Thailand. Today, we'll be taking a very non-scientific comparison between Thailand and the Philippines, based solely on our own personal experiences. And as we hop in the car, this would be a great segue into our first topic, the streets. Can you take a guess where these footages are from? Besides the license plates on the cars, can you really tell which is where? I can't. In both countries, you will find an abundance of above ground electrical or telephone wires. Additionally, there are tons of scooters or motorbikes that maneuver in and out of traffic. I could be wrong, but it definitely seems like there are more motorbikes here than there are cars. Many tourists choose their vacations based on the quality of the beaches. And here in the Philippines, people will definitely be shocked at how beautiful the beaches are. Beautiful moment on this beach here in Batangas. Finally, grounding my feet into the earth in the Philippines. We're here. I'm so happy to be here. Now, if you didn't know already, the Philippines is made up of over 7,000 different islands. And that means endless amounts of shoreline, countless beaches waiting to be discovered. Similarly, Thailand boasts some amazing beaches and turquoise colored waters. Some of their islands are also surrounded by limestone cliffs, just like the ones you can find in Palawan. The beach in Phuket. I think it's Kata Beach is what it's called. K-A-T-A. Um, it is a public beach so that's the thing about this particular resort. They don't have their own private space especially on the beach. It is public so you will see other travelers, visitors here on the beach but it's actually really really uncrowded. It's really nice. Obviously we have the beautiful blue water behind us. But our personal experience is between these places, we find that here in Thailand, these areas are much more crowded. In 2019, there were over 40 million tourists that visited Thailand. Compared to the Philippines, which only saw 8.2 million in the same year. That's a staggering difference. Hey guys just got in. I'm absolutely exhausted. I wanted to continue vlogging tonight, but let's continue tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. We are, oh, I hear the waves on the beach. We're out here at Club Med Phuket. Phuket. I always mispronounce it. Um, and we are about to go head to breakfast and meet our friends out there. So Club Med, it's been a long time. The last time we were here was 2019. Uh, I remember going on that very Yeah, we were actually here at this very same resort. Um, and our friends were supposed to come and join us at that point in time, but certain things were going on in life and it just didn't happen. So this trip has really been like more than four years in planning. And I'm super duper excited because we're about to head to that massively beautiful yes. buffet and we're just gonna eat. Come and join us. Let's go. Before we continue with today's topic, I really have to share with you guys how amazing the buffet is here. It is unlike any other resort that we have ever been to. This is a world-class buffet, unrivaled by anything we have ever seen before. I could easily compare this to some of the high-end buffets found in Las Vegas, Nevada. And as mentioned before, all of these foods are part of the resort fee that you pay. 
and we definitely got our money's worth. We got a plate full of fruits. We are back here and I can't wait to get obviously all the food. The food is ridiculous. The buffet is fully stocked all day, every day. So I'm having to pace myself most certainly. We got there. Oh my goodness. This is probably a good time to continue along with our topic and talk about the foods of these two different countries. As you know, we are pretty well versed in cooking and eating Filipino foods. Are you ready to try balut for the first time? Yes. Our family favorite is salmon sinigang. So I got a little bit of mm -hmm, sinigang broth and rice here to start off with. Oh, that's so good. I like it too. We also enjoy eating street foods and other goodies. And although we visited many different Filipino restaurants, Filipino food is largely unknown outside of Filipino families and their circle of friends in the United States. In fact, my husband and I are the first ones who properly introduced Filipino cuisine to our closest friends. Uh, my favorite was the tuna, kilawin, and the beef ribs were delicious, and the fish was delicious. <laughs> and the cucumbers were delicious. Everything was delicious. <laughs> Thai food, on the other hand, is very popular in almost all corners of the U.S. You can find several authentic Thai restaurants run by Thai families. It is fairly common to hear people in the States say, let's go get some Thai food. The one dish that seems to be universally known is Pad Thai. It is ubiquitous and easy to love. So Lisa is going to tell me about having Pad Thai in Thailand. A little bit better than America, for sure. It's delicious. But what's the best dish so far, though? I know it sounds really basic, but I'm going to say Pad Thai. And speaking of ubiquitous, Thailand also has an abundance of street foods. Quality and taste, and affordable in price. Combine the two, and it's no wonder why people flock to these places. Best curry I've ever had. Hot, but so, 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 so good. This whole meal is like absolutely delicious. Now, we've personally seen that both countries share similarities when it comes to crystal blue waters and amazingly delicious food. But one has to wonder, why does Thailand seem to be more popular with tourists? It is so hot out here. I'm standing up on top of the Chalong Temple. It's absolutely beautiful. This journey was never to really answer this question. Instead, it's a reminder for us to continue what we've been doing from the start. We gotta put a little sika on there. I've kind of grown into this family and really adopted a lot of their customs, been learning more about heritage, um, culture, different things like that. And I want to share that with all of you. We started this channel so that I can immerse myself and learn more about my husband's culture. And along the way, we've reached many people and actually challenged their views of Filipino food. And I did pork seasick because it's the original. I can eat this all day. It is so good. I don't know. It's something about seasick. I think everybody in the world needs to try seasick. I don't know who you are, where you're from, how you grew up. You have got to try seasick at some point in your life. It is absolutely delicious. They found themselves more open to trying foods that they've seen on our channel. My only hope is for more people to get to know the Philippines culture, especially through their food. I got um, lechon, I'm gonna eat the skin first. Mmm, mm, I'm so crispy. I imagine this is like a deep fried chicharron, and it's probably really good too. I love it. The next time you're trying to figure out what to eat, skip the familiar fast food joint from your hometown. Live a little and discover what's out there. I'm 
sad. <laughs> Car's here. It's time for us to get going and leave. Beautiful Club Med. We absolutely love this place. We love every time we stay here. And we will be back for sure. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, want to know more, please leave me a message down below in the comments. Salamat and you got till next time. Flat. There you go. Ow. Good. Perfect. That, that hate. Yeah. What do you guys want to see? Girls behind or boys behind? I'd rather see your butt, not their butt. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm tired. Hey guys, so I am going to be holding the camera and hopefully they notice. I don't know why. We're going to go to the pool after. We're going to take out the laundry. Probably the beach. I hope the pool. Switzerland. Switzerland? I think we do need to do like a cold one. Girl, I hate the cold. <laughs> no. We got to go to another tropical destination. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> I love being at hotels because we can just watch TV and play games all day.